Hello everybody, Swift here again, and today I'll be playing Vault of the Void. Now the game is a card game deck builder, and it has some unique aspects to it. It's also extremely highly rated on Steam, and I decided to get a look into it, uh, play it a bit, see if it's awesome or not, and uh, then maybe make a series out of it, or just have it a one-time deal, uh, like a one-time run. Anyway, let's begin. Let's go into normal, I would say. And uh, let's begin here with the hidden. There are four different characters with completely different uh, playstyles and, you know, passives and a bunch of other things. And uh, yeah, we have like the Enlightened, the Tempest, the Daughter of the Void and the Hidden. We're gonna go with the Hidden as he's the simplest one. And we also have two archetypes here, the Bleed one and the Blade one. I would say let's go Blade because it's simpler. And uh, yeah, these are my starting cards. I will explain some mechanics here. But um, like the character mechanic is combo. So whenever you build up combo, my cards will get used more often. And uh, yeah, these are my starting cards here. So just to explain, I have some cards that generate combo. I have some cards that use combo, namely cards that have the Swift keyword, Swift, Swift, Swift keyword, whatever. And then uh, we also have, uh, yeah, actually that's it. So uh, first of all, we got Slash as our starting card. It costs one energy, it deals six damage. And if I have no combo at all, it gives us one. And otherwise it's also Swift. That means that it's gonna multi-attack if I have combo and it will expend it. So everything that says Swift just takes your combo away and uses itself a bunch of times. Then we got Parry, which is uh, a 5 damage block. By the way, I'm not sure if when you use this, it gives you the combo back, as um, theoretically it should waste your combo and then the last one will give it back. I don't know, we're gonna see. We have a 1 cast, a cost card here, Parry, which is a block 5 and Purge 2. I'm gonna explain what Purge is. Um, we have a 1 combo, uh, one energy card that is that just gives us combo. And uh, it also blocks according to how much combo we have. We can have up to three combos, so that won't be that much blocking. And then we have a uh, last card is one energy, four damage. But if the enemy is attacking, then we apply a debuff that gives them 25% uh, less damage done and 50% more damage taken. And this is also swift, so we might uh, attach that debuff two or three or four times to the opponent. Uh, plus the fact that we're going to be doing also four damage, uh, four damage or eight or 12 or 16. So uh, yeah, let's begin. We also have a starting ability. All characters have a starting ability. Uh, let's actually get into the runner. We're going to explain about the rest of these. But we have a starting relic that says that at the very start of each turn, if I have zero combo, I go up to one. So that's the important part. And after the fourth turn, I can I get one more max combo. So let's get into it. And we start with some starting cards here. I know a bunch of explanation really early, but... I mean, I have to explain some things, I guess, so that people can follow what's going to be happening. Uh, and these are my starting cards. So let's see what we got. Two energy, deal some damage to all enemies, apply four bleed to all enemies. As you see, we can also go into bleed a bit. So um, yeah, this is decent-ish. And we got a one cost, five block, clot two. Clot is if the opponent is already bleeding, then that effect applies by making the bleed go away. So I remove two bleed from the opponents and I get overcharge one. Overcharge is that I gain one more energy next turn. So this is we block a bunch and we also get a bunch of energy next turn. And Swift means that it's going to also take the combo away. So to apply this a bunch of times. Uh, jab is a five damage, draw one Swift. Swift, once again, it's gonna happen a bunch of times. This is good because with one energy, I can draw like four cards if I have four, three combo. Scheme at the start of the next turn, set combo to max. That is pretty decent. And then lacerations, each time bleed triggers, it will increase by two. Okay, so this makes bleed pretty much always go upwards instead of going downwards. Okay, this and this is a buff. That means like it's a permanent effect. And they, these all are upgradable too. Rig means that it starts my hand. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe I can go sideways into bleed build. And in this game, you can start with a card that you have quote unquote mastered. Uh, I have played this game before, so I have mastered this card. All swift attack cards played will also apply one bleed. So if I go into this, we can go into a swift bleed build. This is a buff. It's upgraded. It's bleed too. You know what? Let's go into a bleed swift build. Something like that. Let's start with this card. Yeah, and let's hope it's going to be awesome. These are the final bosses that we're going to be able to choose to face at the very end. Uh, it just, uh, you know, announces them to you so that you know. And every time you beat one of those four, you can beat however many you want, by the way, you get a free buff in the fight. So, for example, if I decide to beat this boss, which I don't even remember what it is and what it does, I will uh, be able to... Uh, the boss is going to have one less frenzy, so it's going to be attacking less. If I beat this boss, it's going to give us uh, fighting the void delay block six. I mean, we're going to just look at these later. I don't really care about them right now. Uh, mostly they're just uh, we charge one blah 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 yeah th those don't matter we're gonna look at them at the end and uh, yeah let's actually go into the classic case of choose a buff to start with 15% max HP uh, lose 25 max HP but we gain flask of blue juice artifact triple the essence gain from the perfect victory bonus 
essence is money, right? Yeah, essence is money. So if I play, this is, I, yeah, this is, I reduce my max health and I also pretty much, it's as if I'm saying I will not get hit ever. And then we got the Radiant Arnhem spell. No, well, let's go with this. Let's go with uh, the gamble of I'm not going to get hit ever because that's how we play. Let's also plan our route. I know it takes like, it already took like five minutes just to start playing, but let's actually begin. So uh, I would say, what is this? First of all, chance to gain unique cards in response to facing your sins. Uh, elite enemy. You know what? I would say we're going to go something like here, here, here. Oh, I cannot go down if I go that. Let's go pack up. Let's let's go back one step. So I would say like, let's go here, 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 here. What is this blood thing? A chance to trade in blood for some rare and common card rewards. I don't care about this. Soul character is important. Uh, I would say we go here, here, here. Uh, might as well go to the shop, see what he's selling over here. Maybe something downward. And then something along these lines, you know, as many fights as possible. Excellent highlight path, and now we know the path we're gonna chase down. So, yeah, I think that's the path we should go for. I enjoy what I'm seeing. Let's go, let's do it. Let's begin up into a fight. And you can also see exactly what card that go those fights are gonna give you. So, let's go manage the deck before we start. Uh, I want one jab, let's throw away slash. And this is also a very unique aspect of this game. We have a 20 card deck always. We always, always will have a 20 card deck, uh, no matter what. So that's nice to see, you know. Let's get lacerations, so opponents bleed. Let's go swift attacks, bleed opponents. Uh, and we also have uh, some things that we can enchant our cards with. So, for example, right now we have a thing that says, when I play the card, it gives us four block. That's uh, a thing that we have. And I can equip it in any card I have, but I'm going to try to equip it in a card that maybe I want to... It definitely has to have swift so that it will use itself multiple times. At the start of the next turn, get combo. Yeah, let's go for that too. Let's maybe throw away one parry. Uh, two parries and maybe one slash. And I think we're good here. I don't really want this. Honestly. Actually, this uh, this has shift. Yeah, maybe I should take it. As all my shifts moves will apply block anyway. Uh, will apply bleed to opponents anyway. And should I take the 7 damage to all and bleed so 4 to all? Sounds decent-ish, but it doesn't really fit into this whole build of swift. So let's just go on now and start the battle now in this game we have an ability here that we can use once every five cool uh, five turns but this resets at the start of every fight so we should always use it in every fight we're in and this gives us one combo and one hidden blade hidden blade is a zero cost card that these three damage and it uh, triggers combo because it has swift but it's balanced that means it doesn't expand combo at all so this is just a free combo slot and if you have a bunch of combo you just use it you do free damage and that's that now let's see what we got First of all, we got each time you bleed, trigger it will... Ex oh, by the way, we have three energy. Uh, we have a cap of five, but uh, we gain two energy each turn. So uh, energy retains itself throughout the turns. And also you can throw away cards to generate one energy. That is called purging. So uh, as I told you previously, like we had here a card. Uh, this, for example, says purge two. So if I throw this away, I gain one energy and two block. If I use it, I expend one energy and gain five block. So this is these are really universally useful cards. So, in my opinion, I should just build up my combos. So, I would say we play Quickness and uh, the ability. First of all, what are the... <laughs> let's let's actually go through what the opponents are doing. I'm sorry I'm all over the place, but the, it's it's a classic card game. Where you have to just explain a million mechanics right away. So, uh, the opponents at the bottom say what they're doing. If they say attack, then they just do this multiplication here. For example, 3 times 1. If it was times 2, it was going to be like 3 times 2 or like 4 times 6 or whatever. If, if it's attack, it's always this thing. What attack does, it, it gives you threat, it doesn't damage you, it actually gives you um, a threat which is supposed to be how much damage you take the next turn. So right now these guys attacking don't do anything to me. As you see here, down here it says 9 threat next turn, so that means next turn I will have to block 9 damage. Like there is a middle step in between. So they attack us, we get it as threat, and then we can block the threat, and then if I don't block the threat, then I will get hit. Uh, this guy just gives 2 AP to all opponents. And now, these opponents are not the only ones we'll be fighting. We will always be fighting uh, 3 opponents here. But the thing is that there are more opponents behind these. And for the opponents to stop spawning, I have to bring this up to 100%. So if I kill this guy, it's going to bring it up to 50. This guy, 90. Uh, her, 60. So if I kill 2 of these guys, for example, because 50 plus 60 is uh, 110, or 90 plus 50 is 100 and whatever, 140. Uh, whenever I, this thing hits 100%, the opponent stops spawning. So I need to get a double kill here, otherwise my is gonna be for no reason but i don't see us getting a double kill so might as well just get rid of this ap by the way means attack power so uh we just want to kill her first so let's get one combo let's tap her for 15 damage as this is five plus five plus five bye bye so she's dead 
Let's get uh, another combo because why not? Let's throw this away and this away for energy. Let's uh, get combo. So we get this thing. Maybe I even misplayed this bus, but whatever. <clears throat> and now this does nine and this does more than nine. So I would say let's remove the threat here. I should have actually used the hidden blade first. As you understand, I am not, not min-maxing that much right now because uh, still getting used to the game. I didn't play everything in good order. You should always play the Hidden Blade first are those, as those do not consume um, the combo. And now would be a good chance to test if this thing gives me the combo back because this is supposed to trigger more times based on if I have combo. So let's see, is this going to bring me up to one? No, this brings you up to zero. So if I use this, it would bring me up to one. Okay, got it. Okay, and that was a perfect victory. So now we got 45 Essence already paid off. The Relic already paid off. <laughs> Uh, two souls, that's a currency of the game, and then one upgrade point. And we got this card. Apply to weak to all enemies. Okay, so the upgrade point is most likely going to go either here, so we apply two bleed with every swift card, or here, so that this thing, st this thing starts in my hand. I think I should go with this thing starts with my hand. Honestly, this is really good, because normally whenever bleed triggers, it goes down by one. This is gonna make it go up by two. So if I apply at least one bleed to anything, it just will bleed for the rest of the game, and it will always uh, continue scaling. So I would say let's start with this in my hand always. That seems to be a good upgrade choice. Let's continue moving on along. Let's go to the Raven's Gift, see what we get. So this uh, suggests us to get this relic, which is... Uh, when you play your fourth attack in a turn, gain two volatile hidden blades. Hidden blades being those a zero cost three three. This is, sounds really good, and I have the choice to take the curse and get a yeah, take the item and get a curse. Curse being three energy on draw, suffer one vulnerable, and vulnerable is we take one more damage. If I use this, it gets scrapped. It, it gets like deleted. Scrap and expel. Yeah, expel is uh, removed from battle if I use it. And the scrap is automatically discarded at the end of the enemy turn. What? Uh, at the end of enemy turn? Wait, do cards stay in your hand in this game? Wait, are we, I, I'm not sure if cards stay in your hand in this game. I never saw. Uh, but uh, can I see the map for just a moment? I don't see where the map is. Map. Yeah, here's the map. So there is this thing which can remove a curse. But for me to go there, I need to switch up my plan completely. I need to go something like here, then here gonna delete this and i'm gonna go like downwards here here and then like upwards like this actually if i touch this it's gonna delete this anything that you touch and has anything adjacent to it instantly deletes the adjacent things so if from here i can go like downwards i need to see the i need to see the map layout thing although just by seeing this i would assume that these will not get destroyed like if i go upwards mm, i'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work I want to get maybe the upgrade point. I definitely want this. Maybe I'm not going to go to this fight. Although this is a really good weapon. I mean, look at this. It's a three three star. Yeah, I would say... Maybe dodge the elite. Just go there. Because I want this relic. Yeah, let's get this relic. Actually, you know what? Let's just gain three souls. Just gain three souls. I don't want to deal with the curse right now. The souls are going to be useful because... It's, you use souls to buy relics anyway. The shards of the mirror lay sharp glimmering on the dim light with each slither, blah blah blah, the same. Whichever you choose, embrace, accepting that only sin behind you, each run, damn palace. Yeah, whatever man, what are these cards? Just, just look at what we get. So, Envy. Cost two voids will be added to your deck. Yeah, those are the trash cards. And uh, this is three energy. Oh no, I get two of these. Add a non-green void stone to each non-stoned cards in hand, deck, and discard. A non-green non void stone. Void stones are these passives here that give you a bunch of different things. So... Yeah. Cost two voids will be out to your deck. Not that good. On draw, delay. Uh, on draw, delay ten, block 10. So the moment I draw this, the next turn I will block 10. And if I use it, delay block 40, so the next turn I almost don't take damage. Suffer crippled 1, next turn, scrap and expel. Crippled being at the start of the next turn, draw X less cards, clears at the end of turn. Oh, this is insanely good. So I just draw it, without using it, without anything, I just straight up gain 10 block the next turn. And then if I decide to use it, I will gain 40 block next turn. Right? Am I understanding this correctly? I might be not. While in hand, rage 50% when you purge. So while this is in my hand, whenever I throw away a card, I gain 50% more damage. And then if I use it, deal 3 damage 6 times. Wow, that's insane. So you're supposed to just throw everything away and use this and just destroy the opponent. 
And when this kills opponent, slay, delay rage equal to your rage. So I, if, if this thing kills somebody, then I even get the rage for the next turn. This sounds really good. And the downside is one void added to your deck. Yeah, this sounds insanely good. Unless I'm not understanding something correctly. We take wrath. We go full on damage. And void is... Yeah, the vulnerable thing. This is where busted, man. This is where completely busted. This is where dangerous. Let's take this. I embrace the curse. We're gonna go and expel the curse later. So let's actually reroute our path over here. Uh, not here. Uh, yeah, let's go here, 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 here. I would say forget the elite. So we're gonna go here, here, here. Okay. And then we're gonna do whatever else. Something like this. Something like that. I don't know, man. Let's just go downward and start fighting. It's already so, so I'm already playing so, so slow. And we got this thing again. Let's manage the deck in case we got something new. Apply with two weak to all opponents. Ah, not really. Weak makes them just do less damage. Now let's play with what we have. Let's go. I, I need to stop reading so much. Let's go here, I would say. Opponents don't do anything too much. In general, in the first turn, everything is very chill. Uh, let's get a combo point. Uh, first of all, what are these guys doing? These guys have passives. If the enemy will... This enemy will do 2 damage whenever it is the target of an attack card. Whenever this enemy is destroyed, all our enemies suffer week 3. Okay, so we want to kill this guy first. And he's also 100% anyway. Let's go here. Uh, throw this away. And... Uh, you know what? Let me keep this in hand and see... If you keep cards in hand in this game. Because if you do, then... Obviously... Okay, you do actually keep cards in hand. Yeah, but... Yeah, but I didn't draw new cards, so you definitely want to just bin them all into energy. So, uh, I got my Crazy Wrath. This, uh... Can I scrap this? Cannot purge. Well, that's not a good hand at all. Uh, maybe get combo first. Okay, throw this away. That gives us rage. Throw this away. That gives us also rage. And we're gonna go with this. That's an insta kill on you. Bye-bye. Uh, we have... Uh, we're about to take threat. Uh, can I end this fight? That's where everything comes down to. Okay, this does 3d6, and this... Yeah, we win. You kill this guy. And you kill that guy. And we won. As simple as that. Full life, everything. Got our perfect. And we also got the card again that says whenever I use a swift card. Uh, I would say let's upgrade that thing. What is this? Discard combo 1. Oh, discard combo 1 sounds good. But still, I would say let's go for this. Let's go multi-applying bleed. Wait, did I just increase that thing's cost? Nope, no, yes, oof. Whatever, we add that too. Let's throw away one, uh, one parry, I would say. And let's continue moving forward. Let's also check what gems we got. Starts with, yeah, that starts with your, in, in your hand. I would say let's give uh, to that, to that uh, something extra. Let's give it this thing. The evolved, obviously. So now we will start applying bleed to a million opponents. And because it's an elite fight, we get a relic. That's what the elite fights give you. That's why elite fights are good. Each time you cast your spell, you get combo 1. That's really good. So my spell is going to give us combo 2. Every fourth non-balanced shift attack played is balanced. Yeah, balanced means it's not going to expend any combo. So this is also really good. So that's um, that means I maintain my combo 1 every fourth card. When you cast your spell, block equal to 3 times your spell cooldown. So this is block 15 whenever I cast my spell. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with my spell gives me to combo. Just increase my damage. And this guy has a passive. Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. Bruce has the ability to spawn Ghost Piranhas as allies. Mm, okay, it doesn't explain when and what. So we we'll just go with damage. Uh, let's begin. Let's begin. I'm not gonna use this. That's guaranteed. So let's throw that away for energy. I would say let's play both of these. Nice. Uh, I would say let's go for a big next turn. Although I could just use this right this moment. Yeah, let's get let's get going. Throw this away. Use my infinite power. Boom, boom, boom. And let's also apply a million debuffs. So this guy now has four stacks of takes 50% more damage. So that means for the rest of the fight, he's going to do 25% less and take 50% more. And also the bleed is now slowly going to amass. The parenthesis is how much it will do in reality because the opponent is weakened. And as you see now, bleed is 5, and the next turn is going to be a 6, 7, 8, etc, etc. So, uh, let's get combo, and then I would say let's do this. Yeah, this is draw 3 cards right now. 3 cards meaning that I can discard, discard. Uh, I should have used the defense there, not discarded. But this thing gives us rage, so discard, discard, and discard, and bye-bye. <laughs> 
completely busted Wrath. That's why I got Wrath. That's exactly why I got Wrath. Uh, what does this actually do? The chance to trade in blood, rare uncommons. I'm okay with my zigzag pathing here. Uh, this is the enemy, and this is the card we're gonna get. Let's see what card we just got, because my memory is mediocre. I don't think we got anything important. No. What is this once again? Overcharge. Overcharge means that we will gain more energy next turn. Maybe I should put it on a card with... With uh, Swift that I'm not gonna throw away. Wrath? Definitely not Wrath. Definitely not Void, what am I even looking at? Lancerations, no. Uh, I, th I think it has to be these things, underhanded tactics. And then they just give me a bunch of energy next turn. I'm gonna find something better. I'm gonna find something that's gonna be like a zero cost, Swift, uh, something, something. Okay, we obviously open up with our openness. What is this thing doing? While you have four more cards in hand, this enemy is immune. Okay, fair enough. And uh, immune to all damage. Yeah, that's the other buff. By the way, this this icon here, I have seen it a million times. Attacks for 11. That's very simple. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just do our things. So let's begin with this. Let's throw this away. Let's throw this away. Let's also open up with that. Let's use this. Uh, this first because the balanced means it maintains its... You know, we went pain on combo. Let's throw a bunch of cards. Uh, this guy's attacking, so I definitely will use this. So throw this away. I would say use this. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, use this. Throw this away and use that too. Now I'm gonna get combo next turn. Nice. Okay, we got 8 threat. 12 because I'm vulnerable because I just draw void. If I play this, I'm definitely not gonna block enough. So I would say we go on the offensive here and hope for the best. Uh... I mean, if I... I will block enough if I do that. Can I kill him? Uh, well, game doesn't even show me. So, I can... This is, like, almost 12 damage. This, uh... Yeah, this is more than 12, actually. Hmm. First of all, I don't have energy to use all. So, we're gonna just throw this away, guaranteed. Yeah, that, that's, like, guaranteed. So, I'm thinking about... Ah, uh, I don't think we can kill. I don't think we can kill. I don't see the numbers being able to line up for a kill here. Uh... Yeah, they would not have lined up. It's the same thing. Yeah, they would not have lined up. Yeah, he just survived with four, but that's after the bleed. Throw this away. Oh, I don't have even damage. I can't damage him right now. That is uh, that is not good. Because we're taking three. We're gonna block here and just pass, pass, and win. He's dying from poison. We did not get the perfect this turn, but it's okay. We can't always win perfect. Let's go on. Let's go over to this fight. Okay. Whatever that is. Did we get anything? I need to remember... The game doesn't show you at the end of the fight, You just so you remember... Uh, you, by the way, you won this thing, no, you just have to go and check. I also have a potion that I can drink, by the way, which uh, is... who knows where. Doesn't really matter right now. Oh, I don't have a potion, what am I talking about? Your potion collection is zero, I don't have a potion. Uh, yeah, we're gonna open up with what we're always opening up. What do you guys do? At, uh, all attack cards played against this enemy will heal them for two. Gain plus one frenzy at the start of each turn. Same for here. Same for here. Okay, got it. And they are all 100%, so we just want to one-shot one of them. Apply Burning 2. Burning being Suffer a threat equal to burning at the start of your turn. And then reduce the burning per one. So we're gonna take 6 threat every turn. Well, whatever. We're gonna go here. Throw this away. Here. Um, throw this away. You No, I should not have used this. I should have just used my ultimate right away. I should have just used my ultimate. Whatever, we have 3 combo for the next turn. I should have thrown the other one away just to gain the energy. Would Okay, we got our uh, god hand, which is this thing. I can one-shot something here. Uh, we definitely want to defend at least once, so I would say we throw this away. We block with this, so now we're damaged. We don't take damage anymore. And then we throw this away, throw this away, and this has enough damage to insta-kill something and also give us uh, this thing, rage retention. Nope, not this thing, this thing. Delayed rage. So we're gonna get another 150% more damage next turn. So we're pretty clean here. Pray removal debuffs, I really don't care. Um, yeah, you guys are dead. This, uh, this is, yeah, instead of being 5 damage, 13, so bye-bye. And, uh, oh no, I drew void. Boom. Come on. Come on. I mean, this is also good enough. We win anyway. And we don't take any damage, and we got a potion of stealth. Now, there is a mechanic for potion in this game. Let's go up here, first of all, and buy a relic. So this guy sells either three relics, um, common, uncommon, rare, and then, or epic. Yeah, no, rare. And then you can also buy them randomly. 
So, like a random one instead of the fixed one. So, for example, I could have taken each time you play a block card, get delay block for next turn. Or I could go with reduce all cloth costs by one. So, that's really good. Or when you suffer a daze card, delay block ace. Eh, whatever. Or I can just go with a random uncommon artifact. We're going to go with a random uncommon artifact. YOLO it. At the start of your first turn, or recharge for four. Wow, that's insanely powerful. So that means the first turn I'm gonna get plus four energy, the second turn I'm gonna get plus three energy, the third turn I'm gonna get plus two energy, the fourth turn I'm gonna get plus one energy. So this is like, we just drew something completely busted. Let's go to the other shop, let's see what this guy's selling. Um, I like that he's selling also the upgraded versions, and I can all buy these. I cannot buy this. So sad. This turn, when an enemy takes damage, apply bleed one, add one hidden blade. This turn only, whatever. Trigger targets bleed. Or trigger targets bleed, slay, transfer the bleed. I'm not bleeding that much. Add two volatile copies, three volatile copies of next attack played to hand. This is very powerful with some kind of zero cost. So that's volatile means that it's, um, it's gonna get dis destroyed at the end of the... If I use them or if I don't use them. That's what the world time means. This is really good. Like, if I I need to get an attack that costs zero, and then it's like, I cost this for one, and then the next card that costs zero, I, I use it like five times. This is such a crazy combo piece. I'm really thinking about taking this. Um, yeah, definitely. What is this? Combo two and starts in your hand. Gain two hidden blades and expel. Ah. It gives, I mean, it's good because it gives you a combo two, and then with the hidden blades, it's a lot of damage. Gain one silent shiv. Um, if a card, you, shift, what, what is this? What is shift? S shift, discard the card from your deck. Okay, so it makes sure you don't draw trash from your deck. So gain one silent shift, which is a zero cost, apply two bleed, swift and balance. So that thing applies two, four, six or eight bleed. Uh, and then if you discard the card that costs two or more, gain another one. And you can do that twice, so gain up to three. And this is deal uh, 24, 32 damage and suffer one days. Days is days out to the top of your deck. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, I'm thinking about this. Yeah, I'm thinking about this. Do I have anything in my deck that... Uh, why is my deck 22 cards, by the way? I guess because of Void and because... Of, oh, because these are afflictions in general. I don't know why this is an affliction, by the way. This is insanely good. Um... Unless, uh, unless when I'm about to remove an affliction, the game's gonna be like, remove all afflictions. I don't care. I really need to remove this, though. Anyway. Uh, let's say I throw this away. Do I have an attack that is good enough? I mean, this is a good attack. Actually, this is insanely good with this, because this is gonna draw me, like, four cards. I discard a couple, use this again, draws me more cards. Oh, yeah, we take this. And uh, the rest I don't really want. Let's go into my backpack real quick. Let's add this to the deck. Upgraded version. Let's throw away, I guess, a parry. Actually, let's throw away one slash. What is this? Draw one, discard one. Oh. Okay. I could um, I could use that with a multi-draw thing. So it draws like four and then also draws another four and discard one at a time. That sounds really good. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Where is it? Where is the super? It's the jab. Yeah, let's make let's make jab, draw one, discard one. So practically, it draws two, discard one. What is this? Deal nine damage, gain one hidden blade, swift. Let's go. That sounds insane. Oh, it has swift. Okay, so this is two energy, deal nine damage up to four times, and get up to four hidden blades. And what is this? Treasure goblin. Let's go fighting a treasure goblin then. Which, uh, assuming it's gonna give us money, right? You gain five essence for each point of damage this enemy suffers. Okay, essence. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money. That's like five. Okay, that's like five hundred plus essence. Yeah, let's get to it. Lacerations. Look at this. We start the four energy. Lacerations. Oh wait, is overload not what I thought it was? Max energy is increased by one per stack at the start of each turn. Gain one energy. Oh oh oh. Okay, I get plus. Okay, it just gives me a bunch of max mana. But otherwise, it just gives me one per level. Uh, this is useless. Should I go for a good opener? Might as well go for a good opener. Uh, use all this too. So this guy has bleed 4 now. It's gonna forever just go up and up and up. And he gains up just... He gains just 5 fortitude, which is defense. Okay, we got the most busted skill we have. Throw this away. Throw this away. I would say throw this away. Use this. Yep. Draw one, discard one. Choose one to discard. I'm gonna discard the combo piece. And here I'm gonna discard... Then her tactics. 
Okay, then I would say let's go and print the slash. Actually, how much damage is this? Oh, we're, we're done. Bye bye, bye bye, win. Bye bye, 55 as yeah, we're super rich now. And we got the card. Let's add it to the deck. And I can upgrade the card. What does this upgrade to? 8 damage. Eh. This. Yeah, we had that. Discard the combo. That's decent. Discard the combo is decent. Let's go backpack for a moment. 12 damage and gives you hidden blades. Oh, I have this again? Evaluate. Block 15. If the target is vulnerable, again, one hidden blade. Repeat for weak and slow. Okay, that's like a debuff thing. Fair enough. Apply weak, uh, too weak and too slow. Slow is reduce frenzy by one. That sounds really good. Like they attack less times. But I'm a damage build. I don't care. Lead six. Let's go for this. Actually, no. Let's go for the thing I'm already using. This. Let, let's go for this. Let's go for scheme. I'm very combo heavy and I need scheme to just... I throw it away and it gives me a combo piece. I uh, I added... I, I made the wrong scheme have that. And uh, let's also get the new card. We just got this thing. And let's throw away one slash. I would say. If anything, I would say even add another scheme in, in the deck. Just add one more scheme. And maybe throw away a slash. I don't need that many slashes. I do need all the energy I can get. So I want to get to the shrine now. Because it says... Uh, devoted worships being known, blah, blah, blah. A choice to heal, cleanse your deck of void cards or to gain some extra essence and souls. So assuming that the cleanse your card from your deck from void cards is going to carry us. Also, I would like to go like downwards like this. So I would say, let's go up here. 120 essence. A friendly young boy, knowledge, spell to cast for a cost of build purchase essence. Let's see, he gives us spells. Okay, instead of... Yeah, instead of uh, gain two combo and one hidden blade, I can go with cooldown two, swift one, which is throw something from the deck in the bin, draw one, and discard one, and gain a combo. Let's not forget, all everything is and gain a combo. Recur one, return a chosen card from your discard to your hand, and gain a combo. And this is the next card you play this turn, will cost zero energy, and you gain a combo. You know what, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. This is three energy right away. This is literally we gain three energy. So let's buy this. Uh, I don't want the rest. Honestly, get the card from your deck. Who cares? Uh, let's switch over to this build. So you can only have one spell per fight. Let's see what we have here. So pray for blah blah blah. Remove up to two afflictions come from your deck. Please, you prayed an answer, but by whom? Please allow me to choose. Please allow me to. Please, please no. Please no. Nice! This is Affliction, but it didn't remove it. Nice! Nice! Maybe the wording should be different. Maybe they shouldn't say Affliction, it should, be, uh, should say something... Uh, maybe Affliction, yes, but the other cards maybe should say something like f Affliction Debuff, Affliction Void, or something, because I was very scary there. Let's go here. Let's go over here. Unheard Tactics, it's just zigzagging around. Uh, what is this? Forge Soldier? Battle Progress? Whatever, let's just go into the fight. My deck is ready. So this guy does. Ignores the first instance of damage or debuff of played each turn. Okay, fair enough. And yeah, that is the debuff itself. Defensive, attack. Gain fortitude equal to the to AP. Then attack. Okay, so I'm gonna... He's gonna get 14 defense and also deal 14... Uh, yeah, it says here 14 threat. So I'm gonna go with the next card, cost zero. We're gonna make this, this one. I have no attack. This is gonna stay in my hand. I'm gonna go lacerations. Uh, that thing says I bleed every time somebody gets this block equal to combo 3. I don't care about that. Let's go here. It should apply bleed to them, right? I failed. Whatever. Let's keep the imprint pass. Can't really do anything about this right now. I, I wasted all my combo points, by the way. And we're going to take a bunch of damage, too. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, we're going to keep the imprint. Uh, let's go with hit him for nothing. I would say block, block, and hit him for something. I don't know. Very mediocre turns here. We got it even. 14 damage incoming. Is that what he's going to do every turn? Shredging magic. Gain 3 AP and 10% defense. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let's begin the damage, I would say. 9 damage and gives us hidden blades. Not 3 balls. have the next attack played. Okay, we're going to make the hidden blades be volatile. Can I build my combo up, though? That's my issue here. I think I cannot. So, uh, we go here. We get our hidden blades. We do this. Oh, that was a mistake. Should have first used this. Ah, whatever. 
Oh, now I can use this. We get a combo point, and now we do here, here, here. Uh, we will need defense here. Yeah, we take damage. It stays in my hand. At least he has bleed 20. Uh, yeah, we need to build up our combo. So, let's make this cost nothing. Let's... Uh, I don't even know. Everything is useless. Just, just do this and throw the rest in the bin. Now next turn I will have max combo and max energy. At least we didn't get hit there, that's the play. 17 damage incoming. Okay, now we got decent cards though. So first of all, we're gonna do this and draw a million cards. Yeah. So, throw this away, throw this away, throw this away, throw this away, this. Okay, decent. And uh, is this insta-kill material? Throw this, throw this, throw this. Still not insta-kill. Throw, throw, still not. Uh, can I do this? It's gonna give us hidden blades. It's gonna give us one hidden blade. And also most likely close to kill. Yeah, we do this, here, this, and buy. Easy enough. We lost a lot of life, but it's okay. We got a booster pack. That's a bunch of cards. Let's see what those cards are gonna be. Recur the top card. Return the chosen card from your discard to your hand. So the last card played pretty much. That's a run. Each time you discard, it would destroy or expel a card. Deal 3 damage to a random enemy. This is decent. And what's the upgrade? Five damage. This is up for three energy. Why does the upgrade make it more expensive, man? That's not an upgrade. That's borderline a downgrade. But it's good because I definitely discard cards with shift, sift, and whatnot. Deal eight damage. Claw two, gain one energy. Claw being removed to. So this is yeah. This is deal eight damage, and it's free if the opponent is bleeding, and actually also gives you a bunch of energy if the opponent's bleed. If you have combo. Now that's just a bunch of block and draws your card. All of these are in my uh, backpack right now. So let's just proceed. I would say let's go downwards to zigzag. Let's go into my deck. Uh, I would say we will... Yeah, we already have this. What is this? Block 18 and overcharge? Not really. Each time you discard, destroy or expel a card. I do discard cards, that's the thing. With the jab combo thing. So I would say we take this. Start doing free damage. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. First of all, I would say let's take this, as we do bleed opponents, and this is a swift card, which is also going to be the opponents, so let's throw away Slash. And uh, let's take this too, and throw away a parry. And uh, I would say, board, what is this? Overcharge. Maybe overcharge on... I will never use this. Lancerations. Because this is always in my starting hand. I could just overcharge with Lancerations. Yeah, just, just do overcharge on Lancerations. Actually, no, no, no. I want to overcharge on something that costs zero. I don't have anything that costs zero. And I also don't have that much discard. I'm like, I'm gonna go discard, but no, I'm not that heavy in the discard. I think we're good here. Let's just go with what we have. Block four. Maybe that's my issue. I'm not using my uh, my defensive things. Yeah, these things are defensive. So let's use these. You know, when opponents are attacking, let's suck at one there. Why not? A defense. And... Uh, Maybe we may make this thing gives us give us a bunch of. In general, I definitely want. Oh, you know what? Let's make this. This is the energy thing. So let's make this give us overcharge. This is the energy path. And uh, let's start the battle. Okay. So, oh, by the way, we have the potion here. Have your current thread. Fair enough. Potion of stealth. This enemy will heal itself for five percent max health at the start of each fight. Okay, so we just go all in damage, that's what I understand. Let's go here, throw that away. Uh, use this. I don't have a single attack. Oh, no, I do have an attack. Copy the next attack a million times. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just apply a million of these to the opponent. Max combo next turn. Oh, oh no, I cannot throw these away. Well, throw this away and turn. These are gonna get deleted, I would say. Shouldn't Volatile get deleted? Yep, they do. Nice, and we got the Mega card here. So, first and foremost, 10 defense. Definitely not happening. We're gonna get hit very heavily here. I would say we draw a bunch of cards. Let's get combo. Draw a bunch of cards. Okay, we throw away scheme. Because it says discard combo one, not purge. We throw away this because I'm not gonna use it. Uh, block five and swift. That can definitely block enough things. 
But I can also block with these two. That, those two are all, already alone enough. So let's throw that away. Let's draw a card and block. Uh, this also blocks based on how much combo I have. So let's do this. And now I throw this away. And I gain my block back. So the opponent has uh, 7 bleed. And I have 2 combo. So I'm definitely going to use this. Which just gave me a bunch of overcharge. And also a bunch of energy. <laughs> and that, that was the idea of that card in the first place. Um, are we? Yeah, we win. Throw this away and win. Nice. Wrath is obviously busted. Completely busted. Block 10. Opener. The next card played will be rebound. Opener being will trigger if the card is the first card played in the turn. So if I draw this and play this right away. Uh, and it also has rebound itself. Or what's the difference here? The next card played. Opener. Oh, it's only the first. So if this is the first card I play. Then the next card I play is going to come back to my hand instantly. So, and re rebound specifically is expel or volatile cards won't rebound. Okay, this, this is good. If I open up with this card specifically. And I can upgrade the card. I would say this to give us 2 energy. Uh, a clot 4 though. Why, why do the cards become worse by upgrading them? Clot 1. This At least this becomes better. <laughs> um, clot 4. That's too much bleed taken away from us. Maybe the time has come. Let's upgrade this. I'm using this almost all the time. Let's go to the next fight. I'm gonna get another one of these. I would say let's add this uh, to energy for block 10. Let's throw away a parry. At the end of the day, the defenses are supposed to get used as a defense. Not as whatever I'm using it. Let's open us with my op classic opening. What is this? At the start of your turn, one infection card will be added to your discard. Whenever you draw an infection card, all enemies gain 1 AP. They're all 40%, so I need to kill all three at the same time. Or two, one alone, and then the other two at the same time. So we're going to also do this. Lacerations. Let's go draw a million cards. Yeah. That's not a million. Uh, let's throw away them from shot. I'm not going to use this. So throw away this. Actually, let's... Excuse us, Stephen. I'll throw this away. Scheme. We throw that away to get a combo. Okay, nice. I'm gonna use this. Cloud to gain one energy. This guy has two bleed. Can I actually bleed him more? Thinking about maybe doing this. I have two energy. I also can get a combo. Do this. Throw this away. I would say we do that. Look how almost dead they are. Let's remove this guy from existence. Uh, I don't have energy for this, and I cannot throw away Hidden Blades, so we throw away the Wrath. Actually, I should have killed with the Wrath. That was a mistake. Ah, yeah, whatever. Throw, the throw them both away. So what does Scrap mean? Automatically discard the end of the turn. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able... Oh, I can't even purge it. Whatever. I bleed the opponents. It is what it is. Didn't play it perfectly. Should have definitely killed with Wrath something, but it is what it is. We have 4 energy here anyway. So, uh, at the start of the next turn game combo. Yep, next attack is going to get multicast. Can I defend? Nope. I cannot defend. We we take here everything. Maybe I should have used the potion, half the thread, and then removed the other five, but... I don't think it's that much of a difference. Throw this away. Use uh, this fur. Actually, use, use this first. I guess. This guy is doing something. Let's also set up the next kill because we want to kill two opponents at the same time. I will take five. It is what it is. Once again, not the end of the world. Man, this run is lasting, uh, lasting a long time. Need to expedite the process here. Eight defense. That's easily blockable. First of all, let's see what we draw. Scheme. Okay, that's not that good. Uh, oh, I choose what to use the clot on. I guess I can use it here. To also get the overcharge. Oh, it has swift. It's going to remove all of the, the, the bleed that has. Let's go here. Remove all the bleed, whatever. Blocked everything. Throw this away. Uh, use this. Use max combo next turn. Throw this away for energy. Let the opponents play. This guy's dead. Which means that another one's going to spawn. Which is really not good. Oh, they healed. Nice. Good thing the enemy healed on their own. We draw two infections. So opponent just got more damage. But who cares? Let's, uh, I would say, assassinate here first. Okay. Now let's build up our energy. Let's use... Uh, no matter what I use, it will just... Yeah, let's go here. Now let's... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come on. And just attack everybody. And now we have 100%. We lost life. There was nothing to be done. I didn't have anything defensive there unless I'm completely blind. I don't think I'm that blind. And we won. We got an upgrade point. Let's upgrade the... 
I think I want to continue upgrading. I think I, will, I want to continue upgrading the bleed application things. What is this? Combo 1, block equal to combo and rebound. Oh, we take this. It rebounds itself. So I can play that thing twice. I can play it twice. I should make it give us defense. Yeah, let's make that thing give us defense. Not scheme. It's a, it's a one cost imprint. Nope, it's a quickness. Yeah, this thing. So that thing now gives us... A defense uh, for the yeah, made defense for two energy pretty much, and also combo alongside the way. Okay, so about the potion system, there are two potions. Uh, you can either use it as a brew, which is gonna be a fight buff, which makes, for example, the stealth makes it so opponents skip the first turn, or if I have it in the run itself, then it does something else. With uh, that specifically being that I take less damage. Okay, I instantly took five. What is this? When you draw a card that isn't an affliction, suffer one thread. Okay, very fair. Defeat the center enemy and then we'll uh and to end the fight. Okay, so we just want to defeat the middle one, the priest, and the rest is the, co the congregation. Squawk, do nothing. If I could walk, I'd kick your will do nothing. Okay, this is just a free turn for us, I guess. Draw a card, see what we get. Uh, well, I got threat because I drew a card. Well, uh, we're definitely gonna use this then. Got two, nobody's bleeding. Let's go here and here and throw this away for one energy. So now we're not taking anything. Hey, opponents don't do anything. Now everybody's gonna be attacked or something. Yep. Communion time. Add two banes. This card is useless. It's a card of shame. Shame. Unplayable scrap. Okay. So I think it's a good chance to throw everything away and just use this. Actually, I would say use parry. Throw, throw, throw. And uh, I would say let's kill one of the birds. Because this way I'm gonna have uh, threat retention, so the next turn whatever I draw is gonna be 150% more damage. And I also have 4 energy, which is gonna now become like 7, exactly. So now this is a good turn for us. Uh, opponents are not bleeding yet. I'm thinking about using Swift on this. First of all, let's use this. Maybe use Imprint on this, but opponents are not bleeding. Rebound and block. Scheme. Uh-oh. Well, guess what? We need damage. Yeah, let's do this. Block. Let's use this again. Block again. I guess we attack the middle because we have to win at some point. Right? This has Swift, though. Um, yeah, I cannot really use that in, with any, in any way, in any good way, at least. Let's set up the next combo. And uh, this is... Uh, let's throw it away for the energy. I'm going to take some damage here. Actually, I didn't take damage. Nice. And now the opponents will gonna be bleeding for the rest of the game. Okay, this will draw me so many cards that we're gonna super overbleed. I would say let's open up with this. It's a two energy card. Let's use my... Nope, this is gonna give us combo. First of all, let's use this. Okay. Secondly, let's use this. I know we're gonna draw a bunch of cards. Throw that away. Throw this away. This, this definitely stays. Um, throw this away. This definitely stays. Throw this away. Throw that away. Nice. Okay, and we have the jab again. So the plan is to kill the boss before we take a single hit. So that is very easily done with uh, Wrath. Yeah, we just do like... Throw Imprint away. By the way, if I throw... Yeah, just... Just, just build combo up. Let's go Swiftness. Swiftness. Throw Perry away. Throw... Uh, Throw maneuver away. Throw imprint away. Use this to gain a bunch of energy. I throw this away. Use this to gain a bunch of energy. Throw this away. Use this to gain a bunch of energy. And opponent's dead. Easy. Nice. I could have done that a lot faster, by the way. Perfect fight. Any new spell? Pray. And what is this? You stare deep into the abyss that haunts the bottom of the well. Motes of light glimmer and twinkle submerge inside the murky depths, haunted visages of promises. Promise of gain. Receive a booster pack with a guaranteed rare. Promise of antique. Obtain an uncommon... What is this? At the start of each fight, one celerity will be added to your deck. To the deck. Zero cost. Gain combo equal to your max. Oh, so it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And this is gain two upgrade points. And then I can pay a toss down addition for additional promises. So I can either get draft three common cards from a pool of ten, draft one uncommon card from a pool of three, or obtain a favor Sagittarius artifact. The 12th time you play a card with a base cost of 2 or more in a battle, inflict 8 damage to a random enemy 5 times. 
I mean, I'm gonna buy this regardless. Uh, I would say let's buy the YOLO, this thing. Yeah, let's buy the let's buy the RNG. And uh, honestly, I don't want to draft a card or anything. Okay, so it's for 50 minutes. I'm not sure if I should continue this, like because this is gonna definitely be plus another hour. I'm pretty sure now that I got a bit a gist, the gist of it, I will uh, be able to get through this within like the next 50 minutes. Like the first 50 minutes were me just stumbling around trying to understand cards and reading things. So I hope you're okay with it. I'm, I'm thinking about just ending the video here and continuing tomorrow. Because honestly, I don't want to upload like a two hour video right away. First, I want to get a feeling if people enjoy this. So I'm going to do like first first half now today, 50 minutes. Then tomorrow I'm going to do the other half. And uh, then after that, I'm, I guess I will be decent enough to be able to get through runs faster. Although I don't know how huge these runs are or if people enjoy the series in the first place. So for now, I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed for watching. If you did, drop a like. Helps out the channel immensely. And you could subscribe to, uh, you know, see when the next episode is going to drop. Most likely tomorrow. So, um, yeah, as always, thanks for the Patreon members and supporters. I enjoy the game. Pretty simplistic. Right, not, not actually, it's not simplistic. It's it's pretty complex, but it wraps up slowly. I do enjoy that we have a 20-card deck and I can just mix and match, just pull things out, pull things in. Like, if, if I see that later I get too many bleed cards, I can just instantly swap into a bleed build. Or if I see that I go into swiftness and combo very deeply, I can just swap into that. Or I can even create, like, a discard deck. Depends on what you find, and then you can just swap the deck around and just get what you want. I really enjoy that this game gives you, like, that ability. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, if, if people enjoy this, I'm gonna make a series out of it just start playing this regularly normally if people like that game like I, I think it's a good game but I'm not sure how like how much um, audience cares about this anyway that's going to be it for today I hope you guys enjoyed I'm really eager to read some opinions in the comments so that I get an idea of what people want to see and whatnot and uh, you will most likely see the rest of this run tomorrow and then after that I will uh, you know draw the line and take a decision a stand on if I will continue playing this or not anyway that's going to be it for today once again thanks for watching and see you guys around.